So after sequences, we have series and summation notation. So we'll start out with definition. So a series is the sum of a sequence. So that's uh, what the definition is. So, and what was a sequence? The sequence was a ordered list of numbers. And a series is, if you added all of them together, what would you get? So our notation could be a zero plus a one plus a two plus dot 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 plus a n and now basically the commas were replaced by plus signs obviously and that should not be a surprise and on the right side we switch it from the curly bracket notation this is actually a capital sigma i'll try to draw the best sigma i can draw so that's a capital sigma sometimes you see little pieces on like that and we still have the n equals zero and at the top now we write in capital N and a n inside. So this is again a sigma. So it's a Greek, probably should be capitalized. Greek sigma. All right, so that's how we're going to write the finite. Uh, series and if you of course have infinite you're just going to replace so this is finite and here infinite a0 plus a1 it's probably enough to just say dot 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 well maybe you really need three to form a good pattern so again on the left side you don't see infinity but you do see three dots that just uh, are not followed by uh, another. It is followed by an equal sign, but if it was uh, if there was another term added here, it would be plus, and then it would be another term. So that's the two ways, uh, the two types of series you can have. So we're going to do first is do an expansion. So we'll do the easy problem, which is. All right, in expanded form. You won't always see the letter N. Sometimes it'll be a letter I, sometimes J, sometimes K. I is always a fun letter right next to exclamation points. All right, so we want uh, I factorial starting at 1 to 5, so that's 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial. And if I uh, want to add this together, we saw these values earlier. So whatever that added together is, is uh, the sum right here. All right, you can write an expanded form and add up the terms. You can do it anytime you have a finite number of terms. Now, <clears throat> if I put the number uh, 50,000, this would become very tedious. However, still doable. Probably you'd want a computer to do it instead of yourself. So anytime there's a finite number of terms, we can add those together and get a number. It may take a very long time, but it can be done. So we're going to look at the uh, finite sums first. And actually, before we get into those, those forms, let's do the, this problem will seem almost exactly like the problems from the last section. So we're going to write in summation notation. And of course, that means use sigma. So our first all right. 
right, so this uh, first example, we do see three dots. So that means there's a pattern going on. I didn't really try to obscure the pattern at all here. So what does this equal? We have summation. Now I have to decide if I want to start, and we'll go back to n, if I want to start at zero, and we'll fill in the uh, number to stop at. If I just go n squared, I have a problem because there's no zero squared. Sometimes you get lucky. Uh, in this case, we do zero squared is zero. So it's not gonna change anything if I add zero onto here. But just to play it safe, I'm going to start at one. Now, by starting at one, where do we end? We end at nine. So this is from one to nine adding this together. So I can write these values out. There's only nine of them and add them together if I wanted to. I'll do one more example. Okay. So what type of pattern do we have here? Well, first of all, notice that the signs go plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So one thing you saw the last section, but I maybe didn't make a very big deal about it. What is most likely hiding in here, oops, I want this one to go on forever. Uh, there's very likely a negative one to the n power. That is one of the many ways to get a sequence or a series to alternate signs. So let's go ahead and throw that in. And let's think about, let's try an additive pattern. Uh, additive pattern definitely won't work because we're going from negative to positive. So that means I would need to add three halves and then I would go and add three halves and well, we got a problem. There's no way one half plus three halves is positive, not negative. So that's out. We could try to multiply here. I'll multiply by negative one half. Multiply by minus one half again. Oh, close. That would have given us uh, one fourth, negative one fourth, not negative one sixth. Seems like we should maybe try and multiply by negative one third. And over here, multiply by negative one fourth. Oh, I think there's an error in my notes. I'll fix that, just, we'll just remove that term. That's good enough for the pattern. Should have been a 120. Uh, so this pattern, you can see it happening here, one half, one third, one fourth. So this is a factorial pattern and let's rewrite this and I'm gonna force everything into a fraction. And I'm gonna also write these as factorials. One factorial is one, two factorial is two, three factorial is six, four factorial is 24. All right, now we're ready to write this down. We got factorial occurring on the bottom. Oops, I started writing something up here. I should probably finish it. I'll just write it here instead. Negative one to the nth power. Let's see, divided by n factorial. Now, I think I need to start n at one here. It gives me one factorial, two factorial, three factorial, four factorial. The other thing I need to check is my first term, this right here, this is the n equals one term, is this negative, meaning is the alternating signs part correct? So when n is one, I have negative one to the first, which is in fact negative. So yes, the sign starts negative and it will go positive, negative, positive, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so we check the alternating signs, and if I plug in some n values, uh, 
and this n equals two. I got two factorial down there, and then negative one squared is positive one. So that's that positive one half term, and I can keep checking down the line. Now this sum does not stop anywhere, so it's not okay to just leave it blank, but we fill in uh, yes, go to infinity.